I've had it with you. We've finished, you understand? Nat. Natalie! Natalie! Coming up. We are missing passenger hall. You follow this gentleman. We put at least 12 cores out in the terminal building, sir. We've taken it, we've offloaded your bags. Make sure you check in Airport Next on BBC One. Do you think you could be missing one, or has the wrong person checked in? Keeping aircraft safe in the sky depends a lot on the skill of the engineers on the ground. John Cull of Qantas needs their expertise to help with the flight that's just landed from Bangkok. The problem is one passenger won't get off the plane. He's lost something very precious in first class. OK, Mr Levy, your pen. Oh, OK. The lost pen is no ordinary pen. It's a prestigious American brand, a cross. We're not quite sure, but we think it's gone down. OK. Here. What colour is it? Gold, I believe. Mr Levy, is it gold? Yes, it is. I'm guessing it went down that hole. It could have gone down yeah. the side of the seat, too. Well, if we don't find it this time, it's not going to go anywhere, is it? We'll, it's just uh, going to go around the world. We'll yes, yeah, so that's right. <laughs> the hunt's still on for Mr. Levy's pen. Right. But there's no sign of the cross. I wouldn't normally ask you to do this, but I've had this pen for 17 years, blowing oh, well. my father and, you know. OK. An aircraft cabin is a complex structure. There are plenty of nooks and crannies where the pen could have disappeared. But the engineers are highly skilled men. They're not put off by the challenge of taking first class apart. There it is. They don't move it. Poor guy's found it. You oh. found it. It's there. It's just well a matter. Done. It's just a matter of actually get, picking it up. Yeah. Needs a refill. <laughs> they need to <laughs> refill. Put your hand in again, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're gonna have to go back, mate. Further back than that, is it? Yeah. You're on it. You're touching it. I'm touching it. Oh, nice. <laughs> yes, you've got it. Ah, excellent. Well done. Oh my God. Mr. Levy, your pen. Yeah. Thank you very, right. very much. That's the best story. That's good. That's cross. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Right, so. Are you all right? The hunt for the cross has left its mark. Okay. We got any plasters? Yeah. We got none in the aircraft for the first aid box. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just the engineer's cut his finger. Oh, sure. So, is that all right, that thing? Yeah, it'd be all right. right. I won't cry. Do you want to run it under the tap, yeah, just quickly? Yeah. I'll get one of our young ladies to deal with you, Colin. I'm sure it'll make you feel a lot better. Well, another satisfied customer, anyway. He was pleased, wasn't he? Good. <laughs> At the Qantas departure gate, John is under pressure. He's got two flights leaving at the same time. Hello. Right, everything's going all right, isn't it? Yeah, no problems at the moment. Just gate 12, <laughs> gate 4. It's good, good isn't exercise it? exercise for you. John's based at gate 4. At the opposite end of the terminal, his other flight is at gate 12. The flight at gate 12 is leaving bang on time. But there may be a hitch. Three people named Hall checked in. But it looks as if only two are on board. Do you think you could be missing one, or has the wrong person checked in? We may be missing one in the aircraft first. Oh, OK. I think I ought to come down, then. Yes. 
Okay, all right then, thanks. Mark? They're going to have a word with the aircraft as well. Okay. See you later, girls. I'm going to the other aeroplane. Running to the other aeroplane. A checked in missing passenger is a serious security risk, particularly as the plane's left its stand. The other aircraft has actually pushed back, and we think we think we may be a passenger missing, and uh, so it could be that their bags on board. We might have to call the aircraft back. So I'm just going down to check. The passenger named Hall is nowhere to be found. Oh, this is a good one. This is. OK, uh, Rob, we are missing passenger hall, so the aircraft will have to return to blocks so we can uh, take their bag off. OK, um, I will triple check with them. Uh, passenger hall, is that Bruce Hall, is it? I'm not sure, Rob. I haven't got to the um, gate yet, but it's uh, definitely the passenger in 25D. It's 25 Delta, passenger hall will re okay, <coughs> return to stand to offload bag. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's right, or unless we find the passenger, of course, in the meanwhile, then we'll put the passenger on and that'll save us a problem. With no Mr Hall on board, but with Mr Hall's bags in the hold, it's vital for John to get the plane back on stand and Mr Hall's bags off. Rob, I see they're taking the tug off the aircraft. He does know he's got to come back, does he? OK, all right. Well, they're taking the tug off. Maybe he's going to come on his own power or something. All right, then. OK, I'm just going back downstairs anyway to see what's happened, but I haven't found anyone by the name of Hall. All right, I'll speak to you soon. OK, bye. Oh, dear. Um, I'm not sure what's happening because the aircraft's had the tug taken away uh, and he's now taxiing off. Hopefully he's taxiing back on stand. Yeah, turning left. Tracy, uh, well, I, with, I can't see anyone around here, Tracy. Um, I'm coming down anyway, he's just coming on, so I'm coming down the stairs now. They're just putting another call out for him. Please go immediately now to gate numbers 12. Boarding procedures should prevent flights taking off without all the passengers on board. The coincidence of three passengers with the same name of Hall has obviously caused some confusion. Uh, I can't believe this. If we get the door open, make sure that it's Bruce Hall isn't on board. Because I presume they, they know they it's paged, Bruce. Yeah, but when they paged Hall, yeah. you would think three people would come forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing that worries me is that there's no agent upstairs. They're putting calls out, OK? But we need the gate agent to be upstairs, because if Mr Hall comes, who's going to let him through? As far as I know, the 8th ball went back upstairs. There's no one up there. So we need to send that... Okay. Send her upstairs. OK, so that she's at the gate, because if he comes, we won't, yeah, we won't. No. what we're doing is we're making preparations to get the bag off, Rob. We know exactly where it is. We're just going to have a chat with the crew about uh, Mr Hall now. Right, OK. Uh, I'll keep you posted. Thank you, kid. OK, thanks. <laughs> Definitely got one empty. Hey, it's Mr Hall. OK, all right. So... All right. Well, we've got paging calls going out, yes. and we've got someone who's going to look for the bags. So, whatever, whoever comes first, the bags or the passenger. The panic was that when we pulled back, when I looked at the name list, you told me we're full, and of course yeah, we're one seat okay. spare. We don't go without no, that passenger. Exactly. So, everyone's aware of the missing Mr. Hall mix-up. There's two people with the same name. See, so there's Mr. Hall on board, and he said, "Yes, I am." Wrong, Mr. Hall. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be a few minutes as we do unload the bag of our missing customer at this stage. So we do thank you for your patience and cooperation once again. And we'll be back with you shortly as we have more details. Thank you. 
Mr. Bruce Hall, travelling on Qantas Flight 2. Could you please make your way immediately to gate number 12, where you are delaying this aircraft? As the hunt for Mr. Hall continues in the terminal, the hunt in the hold for Mr. Hall's bags is well underway. Ah, oh, looks like we got one. Ryan, is this one? Oh, OK. It's good. Mr. Hall has checked in more than one bag. We've got three bags, which I found quick, but we haven't found the passenger. With the bags offloaded, the reloading of the baggage containers can begin. That's great, thanks very much. Right, start the stairs. Time's running out for the missing Mr. Hall. Quickly. But of course the problem is, where's the passenger now? He's just disappeared into the airport black hole, I suppose. Dreaded they're going to say he's here. Qantas, John speaking. John, it's Rob. Uh, I gather the bag is off and they're going to be closing up, but the uh, crew right they saw a business okay. box man walking around. Uh, no, we've, we've closed the door now, so Mr. I'm afraid... Hall's here. Oh, he's here. Well, we're not opening the door again. I'm going to tell Mr Hall. OK, that's definitely, definitely, yeah? Well, I've, yes, we're going. Yeah, OK, because I've got to tell you... Mr Hall! Mr Hall, you've just delayed us half an hour. I'm sitting in the first-class lounge. Nobody... We've put calls out. We've in put, the first-class lounge? Yep, yeah, we've, put, we've put at least 12 calls out in the terminal building, sir. We've taken it, we've offloaded your bags. So, uh, we'll have to get your way sometime tomorrow, sir. We can't hold the aircraft up anymore. Okay. All right? We'll get you rebooked. We did, I heard lots of calls, Mr. Hall. We put plenty out. The young ladies will take you upstairs and we'll get you rebooked. I was here with uh, quite a lot of time to spare, three hours before the flight was due. Uh, went to the lounge, as I normally do because I travel quite often. Uh, and with so much time uh, in the lounge, I sat there and started reading my book, completely oblivious to everything else that was going on. And uh, the next thing I know, there was nobody else in the lounge. <laughs> I didn't want to risk holding the aircraft up again. No, that's OK. I, I passed your message straight away and um, he got his clearance. Let's go. OK, all right. Thanks, Rob. Cheers, John. You know, you've got to draw the line somewhere, oh, haven't you? Oh, no, no. I mean, I, mean, uh, I can't believe you didn't. OK, Mr Hall, we'll see you soon, okay. all right? OK, see you again. Bye-bye. Mr Hall did manage to catch his next flight 24 hours later. Next time on Airport, Maria tackles 160 Irish football fans. Karen gets a shock when builders move into Terminal 3 and Stuart has to coax some reluctant flyers into fancy dress. Next tonight on BBC One, this is your life.